Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to add a resident to your DKS cloud account. With your cloud software open, click the plus sign next to your account, then click on resident. To add a resident, click on the add icon in the top toolbar. You will now be presented with a form at the bottom of the page to fill out for the new resident. The resident form is where you can enter the resident name and can be up to 15 characters long. The hide box allows you to hide the resident's name at the call box. So if you have a resident that doesn't want their name displayed for everyone to see at the call box, you can check mark this box to hide their name. The AAC field stands for alternate area code. This is where you will put the resident's area code. This field will take up to four digits, so if you need to dial a one plus the three digit area code, you will enter that here. Phone is for the resident's phone number and can be up to seven digits. This field can also be used for extensions if using a PBX system. DIR is the resident directory code and will self-populate to the next available code. This code can be dialed at the system to call the resident, so visitors do not have to scroll through large directories. The resident directory code would also be used to call your hidden residents. The ENT field is for the resident's entry code. The entry code is a four digit number that can be used at the call box to gain entry. To use the entry code at the call box, the resident must hit pound in their four digit code. SL stands for security level and will self-populate with a 01, which is 24 hour access. A SL of 00 is always denied access and an SL of 02 through 30 can be programmed by you to restrict access to your facility. FL is for floors. This setting is used when using a Dorking elevator control board. It is typically set to the floor the resident lives on. ER is another setting that deals with elevator controls and stands for elevator reference. The ER field will self-populate with a 1 as this is the typical setting used with elevators. The notes field is where you can enter notes on the resident. Typical notes are car color and license plate number. You can also enter an address here if needed. The last field for the resident is the device number. To learn more about assigning a device editing a device and what devices are, please see our other video on assigning a device. With your resident information entered, don't forget to click save at the bottom of the screen. Once the save button is pressed, you should see resident saved. And the new resident should be in the resident field above. You can now close the resident form and add another resident or send data and we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.